And then what's work at? Okay. So as a review, for those of you that were gone before, well, actually, let's set uh, the pen colors. So we're going to do pen1.color. Now, by the way, um, you can do double quotes or single quotes. Either one works. Now I'm going to find a color to go with that. So I want to go back to this window here, and I'm going to choose one of these colors here. So I'm going to choose this color. And I'm going to put hashtag, paste that in. And let's set pen to color. Also, let's do this particular color. Move pens. Pen one dot. You can write forward or you can just put FD. Now the distance is in pixels. So let's see what 100 pixels looks like on the screen. So I put pen one dot forward. I'm going to save my changes and run it by typing the F5 key. That's at the top of your keyboard, right next to F4. All right, and notice it drew a line, and we got a nice little arrow here. So now we're going to do pen two, and we're going to make this one go backward. 100 pixels. And F5 to save and run. Notice each arrow, each command, this is a command or a statement. Each one has to happen one, one at a time. We can't do them simultaneously. Okay. Now, the last time we were here, I talked to you about creating a loop. Okay. So what was the, the first question someone asked me is, how do I move the pen without drawing a line? Is that right? Was that what the question was? Someone asked that question. I'm going to answer that right now. Move the pen without leaving a trail. Now, I'm going to do this sort of backward, OK? Um, I'm going to move it first and let it drag a trail with it. Okay, and then I'll show you how you remove it. So pen dot, now what we're going to do is we're going to do go to, famous go to line. And we're going to go negative 100, which goes backwards, 100 pixels, and we'll go up by 100 pixels, and we'll go ahead and test it out. Now notice that pen left a trail. So what we need to do is remove the trail. So what we're going to do is use pen1.up. And I'll put a comment here, lift up the pen. Now we're going to save it and run it. And now you'll see, now we see that it moves without drawing a trail. Now let's try drawing a circle next. But before we do, you should always do pen down, set the pen back down. Now, these are comments. Remember what I said about comments? They are ignored by the program. They are there for your benefit and other people who look at your program. Now, right now, this program is pretty self-explanatory. But as we add more lines of code, this is going to get long. And without comments, you're going to have a hard time going in and making changes in the middle of your program. So whenever you can, if you're going to draw a certain shape, comment that you're going to draw it, then write the code. Because if later on you want to tweak it around, you want to change it, you want to do something different, you're going to need to be able to find where it was that you did that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to have you draw a, um, we're going to have you draw a circle, or a, we'll have you draw a circle and a half circle. So to draw a circle, we're going to use pen1 dot guess what? Circle. Now, if we want to draw a circle, how, how big do we want the circle? We can give it a radius. We'll try a radius of 50. So the circumference will be 100. So we're going to go ahead and test that out. And 
and there it draws the circle. Actually, we're starting to get a face here, aren't we? So if we move this other arrow over to the right, we could draw a circle there too. Okay, now let's draw a half circle. And I can't spell. Pen2 dot circle. We're going to give the same radius, only in this case it's going to be half of a circle. And so what we give it is the extent, which is how many degrees. And 360 degrees is a full circle, so if we want half of it, we do 180. Like so. And then we'll just go ahead and run it. Now what if we want, now we can almost do a snowman with a bow tie. How do you like that? That'd be kind of cool. Because um, you have these two arrows pointing at each other, you could do a bow tie. Now I'm not going to do that. What if I want to go the other way around? I wonder how I would do that. I wonder if I can do, hmm, what if I gave it a negative one? Let's just see what happens. I don't even know what's going to happen. Maybe nothing. Maybe it'll go the opposite direction. It did, but not what I expected. I, I, yeah, it's just the other way. So that's cool. So you got that. You can give it a negative or a positive value. And negative apparently t sends it clockwise. and or uh, Yeah, clockwise. And then a positive number goes counterclockwise. Didn't know that. But now we know something new.